it's been a long time. Uh, we have a couple of different things. I'm going to talk a little bit art and then unbox a loot crate. I'm Tree and this is Project Transparency and the Shinies at the same time. The show I'm in, the pop show at the Art Garage, is still up through the end of January, so go see it. I have buttons and stickers for sale there too. They're the minimalist character series I was doing, am doing. I haven't been getting as much digital art done as I want to get done. It, it, you know, when you do three huge pieces, it's kind of hard to like do other things. The 2014 sketch day is done. I have a kind of slideshow put together and you probably saw the little video let of the highlights. I decided to do a 2015 sketch a day as well as a photo a day and I'm trying to do more digital art and do more writing and things like that but the Rainbow Hub is keeping me busy especially since our local movie theaters show opera and ballet and Shakespeare so I am the dork who's interested in these things so I get to go cover them. Yay! I have a new Patreon patron, so hi! I actually know this patron in real life a little bit, so hi Michelle, welcome to the funding of Tentacle Maid Studios. Thank you, you're very nice. And I'm hoping to do a like bigger, you know, the art world, what's going on piece this weekend, I hope. Because things have been going on. And these things are very interesting. Also, I did a review for the Rainbow Hub of the Art Colonies. Not really a hundred years of representative of the Art Colony, but supposedly exhibit at the Neville Public Museum. And it's up on the Rainbow Hub. And I will put a link in the drawer. And Loot Crate unboxing. Insert transition here. First things first. Implement of cutting. Second thing second. Loot Crate. Which, Loot Crate is either, Loot Crate is Rewind this month. I think it's one up box that's a uh, robot. I can't remember. Mm, but Loot Crate. Take, imp cutting implement. Take Loot Crate. And without hurting yourself or anybody else around you, slice it open. Gut your Loot Crate. First things first. T-shirt. It is a Transformers t-shirt. If I can sh show it to you. There we go. It's a Transformers t-shirt. That's really exciting. Maybe this, maybe it is robot. Maybe Loot Crate is robot this month. I don't care. I like Transformers. <laughs> no, it's not Transformers. It's Voltron. God, I'm dumb. <laughs> I just saw the head and didn't realize that it was Voltron. Yes, it's Voltron. Yay, Voltron shirt. I like Voltron. I grew up on Voltron. Voltron has a warm and fuzzy place in my heart that it has shipper feels to it, too. Hmm. Sunglasses. More weird 8-bit sunglasses. I approve of 8-bit sunglasses. 8-bit sunglasses are pretty much the best thing ever. These are my second pair. It is Rewind. Okay. It's just that there happens to be robots in Rewind. So, yay! A comic notebook. So it looks like it is basically like a moleskin, one of the like story panel moleskins, but with like bam slam boom sound boxes. That's cool. I always need more little books to draw in. Happens when you're an artist and have a blank book problem. The rewind guide to your loot crate that has an old school NES controller like cut out in the back, which is pretty cool. I uh, approve of the thing. It looks like an old like NES or Game Boy cartridge, more NES than Game Boy, but it's supposed to be a little figure according to the uh, loot crate guide thing. 
and this one is kind of Back to the Future inspired, but with a bunny. A mysterious box with the tie on it, on the sides of all of it. Okay, because it's a tie. I am very smart today. Please remember that I am incredibly tired right now, so the obviousness of a tie coming in a box with ties is, and me missing it, is now lost on me. It is Space Invaders tie, and it's skinny tie for all of your hipster needs. Okay, that's pretty cool, because I only have like two ties, and I really like ties. So, yay! I can wear it with my Voltron shirt! because I am both hipster and punk all at the same time. And the first issue of the new Star Wars comic, which is funny because I actually have already bought and read this comic via Comixology, but physical copy, that's always good too. So that was Loot Crate Rewind. And I am very, very pleased by the thing. And I'm really looking forward to one up when it gets here because robots, it's like, best month ever sort of thing so yes okay so I am going to go and do work because I have work up to my ears I hope you all enjoyed the unboxing and I hope that if you get loot crate yourself you enjoy your loot crate and I'm gonna put a code down in the drawer so that you can get three dollars off your like initial signing up signing up for loot crate so you know spread the addiction around and if you do enjoy the things that I do maybe consider doing a thing where you donate to Tentacle Maid Studios we do unboxings and we do art and demos and generally me just being a dork at the camera so you know it's good to see all right bye You're doing the music dance, aren't you? I do that too.